Hey everybody, I'm Michael and Trevor Toll, the marketing manager here at Solution Systems, and I am with Tom Dorch, and I'm a business solutions specialist. Today we're going to talk about uh, on-premise versus in the cloud, which way you should go. Ooh, the question of the year. That's right. Everybody's talking about the cloud. It's a, it's a big thing kind of everybody's worried about. Yeah, it's probably going to be the question of the next decade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what do, you, what do you think about cloud versus on-prem? What do you like better? Uh, I personally like uh, I like the cloud. I, I think that's where the direction that everything is going towards. Um, is that just because it's I guess it's cheaper maybe or easier to implement? So so some of uh, the pros I guess you could say that I've noticed uh, one of them being that you just get continuous updates, so you don't have to go through the whole upgrade process every couple years. Nice. Yeah. It's kind of like your phone in that respect, huh? Exactly. When an upgrade comes out, you click yeah. Right. And then you it just not even click yes. I guess it would just up. It, it just comes out uh, without you even knowing about it. Honestly, that's the that some people don't like that. So that can be a pro or a con depending on who you are. I kind of like that though. Right. It makes your life easier, and it's cheaper. That's right. Who doesn't like to save money, right? That's right. Yeah. And you don't have to go through a whole new training process because you're slowly getting out. More and more updates, so it's it comes out piece by piece instead of yeah. all at once. So you're not having to take time to learn a whole new system. Right. Before we go any further, since this is two guys coffee and business, so I want to let everybody know that I am drinking uh, uh, caffeinated coffee from uh, Coffee what is it, Coffee Unlimited, based in Chicago. Our good friend Carrie Izzy <laughs> has supplied it. It's very good. I got a little hazelnut in it. <laughs> oh, very tasty. <laughs> yeah, so what would, uh, what's your preference? What do you like better? You know, I'm a cloud guy. I like the cloud. The only drawback I see to the cloud is if you are a company that works 24 hours a day and your internet goes down, what do you do? <laughs> you know, I mean, I understand it, 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 a lot of people liken it to, well, it's like what happens if the electricity goes down? I click a generator. Right. <laughs> right. Right. The cloud, it's, uh, I don't know. Granted, it doesn't happen that much. Right. You do have to have a more reliable internet access, but you can also access it from anywhere. Yeah. And any so time. you could, you could just, uh, you can go down to your local Starbucks. Yeah. And you have internet there. Very true. You're up and running. Very true. So, uh, well, I might as well ask you, what do you think? You think it's more secure than, than on premise or what? Uh, that, that's also been another big, uh, debate, and nobody can seem to agree on it. Really? Yeah, it's. Uh, I I honestly think it's very secure. Uh, so Microsoft has Azure. Yeah. As you know, uh, so it's, and they've been putting tons of money into this, just trying to fund it and make it as secure as possible. Yeah. They have their own security system for it. Yeah. So right. Like if it's good enough for a Fortune 100 company, it's good enough for the. The, the small, medium-sized business, you know, running in your local neighborhood. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. But and I feel like on-premise has just as likely of losing that security as well. I feel like that can, uh, those can get hacked as well. And oh, of course. Now, have you heard about uh, cloud hybrid before? I have, but uh, if you would like to go in and tell us a little more about it. So cloud hybrid is basically basically just that. You can host your own, let's say, own, your own Azure server at your workplace. Uh, do I like that? I guess for security-wise, if, if you think that you're more secure than the $10 billion worth of security that Microsoft has, <laughs> then yeah, I like it. Right. Otherwise, no, it's just, it's just more. I mean, you have to have a server on your premise. It's, it's more upkeep for you. You got to get an IT department involved, maybe have an IT guy. You know, it, it, it's more costly in my opinion. What about you? What do you think? I agree. I, I, but I kind of like it because you don't necessarily need an IT department. You could, uh, your, you know, you could have your own, your partner yeah. could have an IT department that helps keep track of that. Right. Uh, so I don't know. I, I kind of do like that. It's because then you can still access it from anywhere. It's still cloud based. But you also have your own eyes on it as opposed yeah. to somebody else's. 
Also, can't blame somebody though if something happens to it. <laughs> that's right. Now, yeah, now it's your, your problem. I hope you're the one backing it up and everything. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing though that I really like a point that should be made about cloud uh, first on promise. Cloud stuff is automatically backed up for you. You don't have to worry about it. So if, if, if you lose a file or whatever, you can restore a file from the previous day's backup or wh whatever it is that you, whatever schedule it is you set up with. Whoever it is you're backing your stuff up with. Right. Preferably Microsoft. So my, my question is, with all this, all these pros for going to the, to the cloud, is on-premise going away? Great question. Uh, I think so. I think it's going to be a big shift. Well, let's say it's, it's a little shift over the next couple years, and a big shift to cloud over the next five to ten years. Um, it, it just it just it just makes more sense. It's simpler. It's easier. It's cheaper. It's more it's more accessible. Oh, what do you think, my friend? Uh, I I think that the hybrid hosting is going to be yeah. the next big thing, just because it's it's kind of a little bit of both. <laughs> And I think everybody likes the whole idea of on-premise because yeah. they like to be able to, they like the security of knowing that nobody else is getting in there. Stuff, yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's just, you know, I try to think of my own personal life and, I mean, I use Google Drive, OneDrive, Evernote, and everything is completely cloud-hosted. Yeah. Everything. Even with the whole Microsoft Dynamics uh, 365 for financials or a reef, whatever you want to call it at this point, it's just, it's just simpler to me. You know what I mean? Hopefully it breaks less, too, or it has less, less problems than on-premise. Right. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the other, uh, another drawback with the cloud is every now and then there's a few updates that may, may not, you may not like. Oh, of course, of course, of course. So, uh, speaking of the cloud and Dynamics 360, if you had to say, what, what do you think Dynamics 365 for financials is going to look like in one year? You think it's going to be just NAV? Is it going to, is it going to be something separate? Yeah, that's a, think? I think that's a great question. Uh, I, I'm honestly really excited to see what's going to happen. Yeah. It, it's definitely going to be a lot like NAV, but I think the whole look and feel is going to be way different. It's something that we've never seen. It's going to be... A lot right. cleaner, a lot. Uh, do you think it's going to mimic the on-premise version, or do you think it's going to try to differentiate itself by being a complete separate solution? Well, not separate, but look and feel wise. I think the look and feel is going to be more similar to what you're seeing in Dynamics 365 for financials now. Yeah. But I think that you'll have the functionality of NAV. Nice, real nice. Yeah, the cloud is uh, the cloud is taking over. Yeah. So. Well, I think that's about all I got for now. What about you, my friend? Any, any other pressing topics you want to discuss? Uh, on the cloud? You know, I think that's, I, we covered quite a majority of it. Yeah. Not too bad for a 15-minute little, little podcast. I, I might want to go into cost as well. Oh. That's we, a huge we, that was one thing we never, we didn't touch on for uh, on-premise versus cloud. Yeah. I guess that's one thing I do like about on-premise is that you can just buy it outright yeah. and you avoid all the upfront IT costs. Right. It's ready to go. Yeah. Buy it and log into your tenant and use it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Which which also goes hand in hand with with the implementation. I mean it's you, you it's it's a lot quicker to be able to use an on cloud version of software than yeah, exactly. Yeah. What about what about customizations? Yeah, that's uh, customizations are. It's a lot easier for on premise. Is it? Yeah, you can uh, you can just because cloud is supposed to be more uh, app just quicker, based, right? App and extension based, kind of do it yourself. Yeah, um, I think that's kind of where the future of it is going. Is it's going to be a lot easier for the user because right. cloud software in general has to be multi-tenant, right? So right, it has right. to be the same basically out of the box for everybody to log in and use it. It can't be customized for each specific person right. when there's, you know, or there could be millions of people using it. That's right, yeah. But I, I do think that there is a lower long-term cost yeah. in on-premise than versus cloud. Uh, Even with upgrades? 
Yeah, yeah even with the upgrades, because you do have the, uh, with Microsoft, you have Microsoft Enhancement Plan. Yeah. And that has your upgrades basically into the cost. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, yeah, it definitely makes sense. So on premise, then, I guess you'd only have to pay for somebody just to upgrade that yeah. the software. Exactly. Yeah, which is, which is real good. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of benefits to cloud, uh, especially the extensions and, and, the, and the apps. You can log into one place on the Internet and find what you want and download it. Yeah, it's like your phone. It's a lot like your phone, yeah. Hopefully now, though, with a cloud-based software, when, they, when it's actually upgraded, that the extensions upgrade either automatically or let you know that it's not compatible with with the software. Because right with your phone, what if, if the new operating system upgrades and you go to use an app, it might say that you have to download the most recent version of this app to work with, you know, iOS 85.94 or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's where the extensions are going to come into play. Yeah. That the user will have, will know what to do and will yeah. know how to extend. Definitely, uh, definitely going to be interesting going forward for the next couple of years. Yeah. We will see. We will see. Yeah. So all right. that's all I got. Any, all right. Anything else? No, I guess we can wrap it up. So, you know, I'm uh, Michael and Trevor Tolo, and this is Tom Dorch for Solution Systems. So, uh, Keep doing what you're doing, and we'll see you next time. Also, if you like this first episode of Two Guys, do us a favor and hit the share button below and share it. Thank you. Thank you.